I figured that today we could go through a really fun little what's in my bag video for what is currently my favorite handbag in my collection. And this is my mini Chanel Coco handle from the 22A Metier d'Art collection. Now this bag is in green. I'm not sure what exact shade of green, but it's in green. It does have champagne gold hardware and caviar leather. So it's super durable, which is one of the reasons I love this bag. No joke, I've literally been wearing this bag on repeat since I got it a few weeks ago, maybe like a month ago. I mean, I, it sounds so, I'm obsessed. Like I love this bag. I had no idea I was gonna like it as much as I did. I mean, I knew I wanted this bag forever, but like, whoo, she's totally exceeded my expectations. So since this has been like kind of like my daily go-to bag most of the time recently, I figured let's take a look at what I have inside. Now, overall, I am pretty, I think, minimalist in terms of what I keep in my handbags. And this actually started after college. I had a job where one day, like my colleague came in with like a clutch bag. And I was like, girl, what are you doing? Why are you wearing a clutch? Like we're, we're at work, like what's going on? And she was like, you know what? I just decided like, I didn't want to be weighed down by like a big, heavy handbag anymore. Like it's just, it's heavy, it's bulky, it takes a lot of space, it's too hard to find what I need. So I decided to like downsize into this clutch and like being in a clutch forces me to like be really selective about what I do and don't put in my bag. And I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting because historically until like that kind of conversation and moment happened, I had always been someone with like the whole kitchen sink in my handbag. This was back when bigger bags were in and you know I just I always had so much in my bag and I was always like rooting around to find what I need and so after that I kind of then very quickly transitioned over to small bags and I have been like team small bag ever since this is actually one of my bigger handbags like I'm not gonna lie but you know one reason I like small bags is that I think they fit my frame very well because I'm on the shorter side, I'm five foot three. And so bigger bags do kind of tend to like overwhelm my frame and might look a little silly unless there's like a purpose behind it. But that's one reason I really like small bags, but also, you know, they force you, you know, to be really selective about what you put in your bag. So I would say that this bag actually probably has like the most stuff in it that probably any handbag of mine will ever have in it. Cause this is like, a pretty big handbag for me, which I know is probably laughable to a lot of you all. This is probably like a tiny bag to a lot of you all, but this is one of my bigger bags. So let's take a look at what I have inside. Uh, I didn't grab my keys because I always keep my keys hanging by my door because I'm an old lady with no memory. And so if I don't keep them hanging by my door, I'll never find them again. But generally like those go in my handbag too. But here is all of my stuff. Stuff. I hope you get like a good view without like everything falling out. And so, oh God, okay, this is actually embarrassing. So for those of you who have been watching my recent videos, I think I've mentioned in one or two, like I have been having really bad allergies lately. Now I have had really bad allergies my whole life. So I take allergy medicine every single day of my life, but there are phases where it gets really bad and I actually have to like start using an inhaler like every day, twice a day. And so this is not like an emergency inhaler. This is one that like it's long acting. Like you have to be taking it every day, twice a day in order for it to work. And it's so not sexy to do like in front of a man, but like whatever, health over men, right? Like if going to bed, they're like, oh Lily, like that's hot. <laughs> but so this is not an emergency inhaler, However, if I'm like like short of breath and having a hard time breathing just like for a few hours, I'll go ahead and do like, for instance, like my evening dose or like puffs, I'll do them early. Like if I'm not, you know, feeling so great. So hope, like it's probably a mental thing that I tell myself by doing this, it makes it better, but I feel like it does. So there is my QVAR Ready Haler inhaler. I do have an emergency one. I just, I don't know where it is. So I probably mm, should find that since I'm having a hard time breathing lately. Um, but I also have my AirPods here. These are essential to my happiness because I live in a walking city. I like walking around and sometimes, you know, I like, you know, just like no AirPods in. I like hearing, you know, what's going on around me, but sometimes you just want to zone out, right? So 
AirPods are crucial to that. And I got a little silicone cover from them from a brand called Ilago. I thought that it was a really good price. I wanna say it was like less than 20 bucks. And you know, I've had these on my AirPods for quite some time and they're, they're pretty great. So yeah, those are my AirPods. And let's see what else. Okay, so I've got my Chanel card holder here. This is from the 21P collection. You all, those of you that are members of the family, those of you that are subscribed to this channel, you all, you know this card holder, you know this color blue well, because I've got a matching Chanel classic flap. But even in terms of my card holder, like I keep it pretty minimalistic. You can see I only bring like two credit cards, a debit card, and then also I do have, you know, my ID. I'm not gonna show you, but I keep my ID on this side, my three cards on this side, and then inside, I've got, you know, I've got like a little bit of cash, got my uh, health insurance card, and I think I've got like a couple <laughs> frequent shopper cards. Yeah, this is embarrassing. Over the Moon Creamery. This is one of my favorite ice cream shops here in San Francisco because they also make bomb cookies. So I'll get like an ice cream sandwich there. And as you can see, this is a frequently used card. Uh, and then also at Bold Acai. This is a good little like acai truck and they do some really good poke bowls too. So yeah, that's literally, that's all that's in my wallet. I don't see the need to have like 97 other things in there. So that is that. And then I've got a couple like little lip things here. I think a lot of them I've mentioned on my channel before. Um, the first one is like my newest obsession. This is Patrick Ta Lip Shine. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And the name of the shade is She's Expensive. This is a beautiful like glittery nude gloss, like very clear. It's got like a hint of like a creamy color in it, but like it's, it's overall like my great nude lip gloss. And it's got a really nice like minty little like scent flavor to it, which is really nice. Like, so it doesn't feel like, you know, sometimes lip gloss and lipstick has that makeup taste to it. This does not. So love it, literally obsessed. And um, Patrick Cha, it's obviously like an LGBTQIA plus brand, which we love supporting those brands. Um, then I'm fairly certain I've mentioned these on my channel before because I have like a thousand of them. But here is the Huda Beauty Demi Matte Liquid Lipstick. And this one's in the shade Day Slayer. I'm not sure. No, this is not the one that I'm wearing because this was in the bag. I don't remember what shade I'm wearing, but I am also wearing a different Huda one. I have like five, at least five, maybe like seven or eight shades of this. I'm obsessed. Uh, it is the best liquid lipstick. It's really hydrating. And uh, as long as you give it time to set, it doesn't really rub off, like it will stay on. And it really is, I think, the best of both worlds between like a gloss and like a lipstick. Like it's nice, hydrating, you know, overall, I think it's great. And then one of my go-to chapsticks is this Glow Recipe Lip Pop. And I believe it comes in two like scents or flavors, I don't, I don't know what you wanna call them, for chapstick. Um, this is in the watermelon. I think they have a blueberry one too. Now these are tinted chapsticks, so it does give a slight shade of like a light pink, but because you know I have like darker skin, darker lips, it doesn't really change the color of mine too much. I think if my lips were to become like this bright pink, like I, I would not like that. That would look silly. Um, but this is a great lip uh, chapstick. It's really hydrating. And also it's got a little bit of exfoliant like inside of the, the chapstick itself. So like I struggle with always having like tons of like dry skin on my lips, which like mm -mm, not cute, not a good look. So I, it's nice that this both moisturizes and exfoliates them at the same time. It's a little pricey. Like, I mean, this is I think like $18. So do I think it's necessary to spend this much money on chapstick? No, but do I like this chapstick? Yes. Um, let's see, do I have any other lip stuff in here? No, I've got a mask. My favorite masks are from Athleta. I think I've talked about this on my channel before. They go in and out of stock like as the waves of demands of masks like ebb and flow. Um, so I'll see if I'm able to find a link to them, I'll link them below, but sometimes like they're just not available. Um, but I think they're great. They're very like breathable, but I still feel like protected in them. And I like that they've got like nice solid colors, like, you know, in neutral tones, which I love. So that is, you know, my mask. And then I've got a hair, little hair comb for my hair. Nothing too descriptive. I think this is like the brand Goody, so it's quite cheap. Um, I buy these like in little packs of like, I think generally the, the pack has like 10 or 12 different size and color shapes of combs. 
and you know that pack will last me like a few years so I think you can probably see on here there's a little bit of dry shampoo because let's be honest dry shampoo is life I live by it and then I know I have mentioned this on my channel before because a couple of you all like a handful have left some not so nice comments about my eyebrows down in the comments below saying that they are too dark too thick like whatever and I'm like I am Iranian these are my eyebrows I'm sorry that you don't like how they look unfortunately like I am not a perfect human my face is not symmetrical so my eyebrows are not symmetrical they're never going to be unless I like get surgery on my eyebrows so you know th this is what we're working with and so I was raised in the true Y2K era and like the 90s and you know back in the day all my friends and I the second we started using makeup and tweezing our eyebrows we over tweezed them to the point that I looked permanently surprised so for those of you that think that that's a cute look and you all are trying to channel like your inner Bella Hadid and like over tweeze your eyebrows let me just tell you don't do it because you're gonna be like me and you're gonna be left with little holes throughout your eyebrows for the rest of your life because they will not grow back after a certain point like your body will revolt against all the tweezing that you are doing. So you'll have to be like me and pencil in your eyebrows. So I use this, it's called the Precisely My Brow Pencil from Benefit. And it's in the shade 4.5. The makeup lady there told me that I was a shade five, which is like black. My hair is actually like dark brown. I actually think maybe I should try like a shade four, go a little lighter and see, but you know, for all intents and purposes, I use shade 4.5. And so the reason this is in my bag is because since I pencil in my eyebrows, you know, if I get a little sweaty or if I accidentally like wipe a brow, if a little bit of my eyebrow gets erased, I would like to be able to fill it back in. So generally speaking, if I've got a purse with me, chances are I will have a, an eyebrow pencil in there. And then, oh, hmm, this shows you how not classy I am. Well, I don't know, whatever. So skincare, sunscreen, very important. Generally, I like to bring like a little mini bottle of sunscreen with me. And so a lot of times I will get the sample sizes of the Goop sunscreen, or there's like a Fenty, um, it's like a moisturizer and like SPF 30 sunscreen all in one. Both of those are amazing. I guess I must have used up my last one because now I'm using like my drugstore banana boat one, but listen, some sunscreen is better than no sunscreen so not everything in life can be fancy right and then uh i don't i don't know if i've shown this on my channel before but this is basically like a little mini pill bottle it's kind of weird that it's in the shape of a pill which kind of feels like mm, looks like drugs but like there's just like a medication i take every day so um in there there's the medication i don't want it to fall out so i won't like show you but it's a really nice little pill bottle and it's very small and compact which is why i like it like it just it doesn't take up a lot of space because like who wants like a big pill bottle in your bag like i don't so i have this too i'll try and find the link for it below but i'm pretty sure i got it from the container store maybe i think so that's that and then i don't know is there anything else oh i've got a hair tie and <laughs> I have another frequent buyer card to Over the Moon Creamery because I am a fat ass and I, I literally go there like twice a week. So if you're ever in San Francisco, go get an ice cream sandwich from there. And then let's see, I've got a receipt from GNC. Oh, okay. I know why I kept this. Uh, my protein supplement that I use after I work out, it was originally like 60 some dollars. I went there the other day and it was $80 and I know the guy there. I was like, excuse me, what? Oh my gosh. Um, but I need it like, you know, and I don't like to use other ones. It's a clean protein, which I really like. It doesn't have a whole lot of like additives and sugar and dyes and stuff. So I really like this one brand and he's, you know, saying just like what a lot of brands have been doing. They've been increasing prices because supply chain costs, logistic costs, like everything has been going up since COVID. So he gave me a little coupon. I'll try and cover up most of it. But he was basically like, no, it is. Cause I was like, did the price go up or am I insane? He's like, no, it definitely went up. Now it's literally $80. What tax is 86 89. So he gave me a little uh, coupon for 20% off next time. So that's great. 
I'll get so much money off next time. But hey, you know what? I'm not above it. Every little bit hurts. So got my little my little protein coupon there. So I think I think that's it. I don't keep anything in this little like Mona Lisa back pocket here because I don't I don't want to stretch it out, right? So the only thing I'll ever put in there is like a little parking ticket or something. And most parking is like digital these days. So so yeah, so that overall is it. This is the mini cocoa handle. And honestly, I just can't say enough good things about this bag. Like I am not exaggerating when I say I've been wearing it on repeat most days since I've gotten this bag. I love it. I know it's not a neutral, but it feels like a neutral, or I guess since since my wardrobe is a lot of neutrals, it goes well with, with most of what I wear. Um, I love it. I have not noticed any type of corner wear yet, but granted, I mean, again, the bag is very new. I've not had it a long time. So, you know, after, you know, like I always try and wait about six months before I do a review. So, you know, probably like around the holidays, I'll be able to do a review of like a full review of this bag for you all. But in the meantime, I just wanted to show you the stuff I keep inside my bag. And I hope you enjoyed this what's in my bag video. Now, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would love it if you could just give this video a little like. Just give a little thumbs up down in the corner below. And if you haven't already, what are you doing? You need to subscribe to my channel. So that way you can get all my latest content about all things shopping delivered straight to you. Thanks again for watching. My name is Lily and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye everyone.